Rockford police are now arresting uh, demonstrators in the middle of State Street and Water Street here. Rockford police are taking into custody several demonstrators here on eight on State Street. So this is Scott Yates with the Rockford Register Star. We've just witnessed Winnebago County Sheriff officers assist Rockford police in taking, taking demonstrators into custody. This is Leslie Rolfe, a spokesman for several of our... This is the Rockford Police Department. This is the Winnebago County Sheriff's Department. Multiple of them have excessive force lawsuits in the past. They have beat people, tased people unlawfully. These people will be held up into the world. This will be an example of what happens when you let police officers who are racist, white nationalists, white supremacists, prejudiced, biased, unrefrained, unhumane people, unhumane people, unhumane people, I'm backing up. I'm backing up. I'm 
We gotta stay back here. Yeah, no, I'm standing by you so they don't yeah. yell at me. Yep. I figured you knew the right distance and I didn't. No, but no, I don't. I it's just, always different. Are we I'm good just, to stay right here as long as you're out the way? No, I'm good. I appreciate that. So we're good right here though? Alright, thank you. Let's uh back yeah. it up, back it up. Come on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Scott Yates here with the Register Star. You've just seen Rockford police take into uh, custody several uh, demonstrators here at the intersection of State Street and Water Street here in uh, downtown Rockford. These folks were uh, demonstrating per their usual Friday uh, evening demonstrations on the on the intersection and uh, Winnebago County Sheriff's Department has assisted in uh, in some of these uh, actions by the law enforcement. We saw for a while there uh, Leslie Rolfe, who is the uh, who has been a spokesman for a number of uh, a couple of um, activist groups here in Rockford. He was taken into custody, as well as uh, Terry Patterson, who we saw uh, yesterday. Uh, I'm sorry, we saw him a, a number of times speak on uh, his experiences being arrested on May 30th. Ken, we're good if we stand on the other side of the railroad tracks. What can I do? Kevin called me back. What can I do? Uh, I'm, sh I'm shooting live on our Facebook page right now, so we're good for now. Uh, at least three. Uh, Les Leslie, Terry, uh, this woman, uh, and uh, Sage. That's four. At least four. So at least four rock for demonstrators have been taken into custody. Five, including this gentleman here. So demonstrators arrived at about 5 p.m. this evening, uh, and uh, shortly, shortly before six or around six, they uh, entered. Here's another detainee happening right now. So I believe this might be arrest number six, uh, and it looks like officers are uh, discussing some matters with other demonstrators inside City Market Pavilion here. Oh, here's uh, arrest number seven, I believe. There's a woman being uh, handcuffed right now. Yes, sir. Thank you. 
I was told or earlier behind the railroad tracks. So for those of us just joining us, uh, this is Scott Yates with the Rockford Register Star. I am on, forget what street this is, but we're uh, near Water Street and under the City Market Pavilion where uh, Winnebago County Sheriffs, along with uh, Rockford Police, have uh, taken into custody about seven demonstrators uh, who were blocking traffic on State Street at Water Street intersection. Uh, the demonstration started shortly before 6 p.m. tonight and uh, uh, just a matter of uh, about 10 minutes ago or so uh, pol uh, Rockford police walked up Water Street and entered the intersection and began detaining folks. Officers are uh, looking through the belongings of some of the folks they've uh, taken into custody here. <clears throat> I can hear some uh, detainees in uh, this Rockford police car, uh, the canine car here on the corner. Uh, it sounds like a female voice uh, screaming out the door here. Might be a little too faint for you to hear on the microphone here. So again, this is the Rockford Register Star. My name is Scott Yates. I'm the photojournalist here. Uh, we are watching a woman uh, enter the back of a Rockford police van. She's been uh, arrested. She's being taken into custody here. And uh, we can see in the background there, uh, there's a group of other demonstrators uh, speaking with another line of Rock, uh, Winnebago County Sheriffs. I think there's uh, probably about three demonstrators inside this van here on the center of your screen. Uh, our, the, uh, Spokesman for May 30th Alliance, Leslie Rolfe, was among the arrestees. Uh, he was handcuffed uh, on the intersection of uh, state and water over here uh, through on the other side of this pavilion. Um, and he was led into the back of one of these uh, Rockford police vehicles. <clears throat> Hannah, they were uh, blocking traffic in the middle of State Street and Water Street here at City Market Pavilion as they do as they have for a number of uh, the last Fridays here uh, one noticeable characteristic of this evening is uh, the lack of City Market it was canceled um, and organizers cited the demonstrations that had been here uh, in uh, previous weeks they just they cited uh, the the loud and disturbing uh, protesters um, would create would create a dangerous uh, situation for uh, participants of City Market. So they canceled the event this week, but demonstrators still showed up at their usual time at about 5 p.m. Uh, and shortly before 6 p.m. they entered the intersection over at State Street and Water Street, uh, where they. Uh, block traffic and right off the bat a number of vehicles made contact with the demonstrators uh, just lightly though pushing them uh, uh, a little into by, by a matter of a couple of inches into the intersection uh, protesters were successful most of the time in uh, preventing uh, vehicles uh, going through the intersection uh, I know I saw three vehicles make contact with demonstrators. I saw one, uh, one additional vehicle make contact with protesters, move them uh, a couple of inches, and 
uh, proceed through the intersection. <clears throat> so we're looking at the back of uh, the, a line of uh, Rockford police officers looking into the City Market Pavilion where I see a couple of TV cameras and I see uh, a few more demonstrators left over here. And I'm gonna walk along the train tracks along City Market Pavilion here. So here's a better view of the demonstrators and uh, some sheriff's deputies here. <clears throat> It looks like Rockford police are interviewing a few folks, or at least this gentleman here in the blue uh, shirt. All right, and now, uh, I don't know if you can see through uh, along the train tracks here, but traffic is flowing freely along State Street uphill. There's a vehicle crossing the tracks now, another one. So, uh, whereas earlier today, protesters had blocked off the intersection just downhill from here. <clears throat> and uh, had traffic held up in both directions. Uh, in the early uh, protests uh, a couple of weeks ago, uh, police officers had, uh, Rockford police had blocked off the intersections just uh, east and west of this intersection and prevented most of the traffic from even reaching the protesters. However, today that was not the case. There were no uh, law enforcement of any kind for for uh, quite a while. Uh, at no point did uh, Rockford police block off traffic as they had in weeks earlier. And noticeably, uh, the sheriff's department were the predominant um, agency responding here. That is until uh, just moments ago, we saw a line of Rockford police enter the intersection and begin detaining uh, the demonstrators there. And uh, a number of them, while they're all still here, I don't think any, any law enforcement vehicles have left the scene right now. And in total, I counted uh, about seven arrestees, uh, but don't, uh, that's just preliminary, and I had uh, not a full view of the whole entire scene, but uh, I believe it was around seven folks were uh, taken into custody. All were, um, I believe, usual uh, or veteran demonstrators here in Rockford, at least this summer. Now this, uh, of course comes uh, the evening before a Back the Blue rally is scheduled to take place outside of uh, the Winnebago County Justice Center tomorrow morning uh, in which mo a lot of these demonstrators, some of these demonstrators here uh, had vowed to, uh, who had planned to show up and uh, voice their concerns to the assembled crowd there tomorrow. Uh, it's unclear how long uh, the folks uh, arrested here tonight will be in custody. Christopher Dock Sr., you ask crosswalks, question uh, mark. Well, crosswalks were in play earlier today, uh, a few moments ago. Uh, uh, about 25 to 26 demonstrators had blocked the crosswalk at State Street and Water Street just to our left here where they uh, blocked traffic from flowing through the intersection um, and had bullhorns sounding sirens they had a PA speaker um, uh, playing some some music very loudly and they were uh, chanting and holding signs while cars uh, stacked up on either side of them. Uh, and then later on, Rockford police came into the intersection and detained, I believe, uh, around seven demonstrators here. Uh, and we're seeing a few of the remaining demonstrators here. Uh, they're, they've got their cell phones out. They're talking amongst themselves. 
and um, then we've got here at the center of your screen Winnebago County Sheriff's deputies uh, standing around uh, standing around Rockford police vehicles And I believe uh, I saw a preliminary breaking news story on our website. So those of you joining us, uh, open up another tab on your browsing device of choice. Uh, open up your internet to a Rockford Register Star at, R -R at www.rrstar.com and find all of uh, our breaking news reports here. I'm uh, here behind the live video. So I'm not quite sure what's over on our website right now, other than a preliminary breaking news story. We will have an updated version of the events here tonight, uh, happening here tonight on our website later in the evening at rrstar.com. And uh, tell you what, folks, um, I am being called to another location so I am going to end this live stream uh, be sure that if anything else uh, breaking news wise uh, should pop up I will uh, bring you back into the action here again Scott Yates with the Rockford Register Star find our news stories online at rrstar.com